As our country observes Black History Month, it is important to note the contribution of African-American members of the National Guard who fought so valiantly to help secure the freedom and liberties that we cherish today. One of the more famous units to serve with distinction during the First World War was known as the Harlem Hellfighters, so named because the majority of the soldiers in the segregated unit came from the area known as Harlem in New York City. Originally known as the 15th New York National Guard, they became part of the 369th Infantry Regiment after they deployed to France in 1917. Once in France, the unit was initially relegated to labor service duties instead of combat training, but that would change when the U.S. Army decided in April 1918 to assign the unit to the French Army for the duration of the United States' participation in the war. The men were issued French helmets and brown leather belts and pouches, although they continued to wear their U.S. uniforms. Eventually, the 369th was assigned to General LeBuc's 161st Division to participate in the Allied counterattack in the Meuse-Argonne Offensive. On 25 September 1918, the French 4th Army went on the offensive in conjunction with the American drive in the Argonne. The 369th acquitted themselves valiantly in heavy fighting, sustaining severe losses. After a brutal struggle during which heavy casualties were sustained, the town of Sechot was taken and the 369th soldiers dug in to consolidate their advanced position. At one point, the 369th had advanced faster than French troops on their right and left flanks and risked being cut off. By the time the regiment pulled back for reorganization, it had advanced 14 kilometers through severe German resistance. This action earned the Croix de Guerre or Cross of War for the entire regiment. But the Meuse Argonne claimed nearly one third of these black fighting men as battle casualties. One of the first units in the United States Armed Forces to have black officers in addition to its all-black enlisted corps, the 369th compiled a war record equal to any other U.S. infantry regiment. During its service in World War I, the regiment suffered 1,500 casualties and received many awards and medals for their intrepid service. It earned several unit citations along with many individual decorations for valor from the French government. The most celebrated man in the 369th was Private Henry Lincoln Johnson, a former Albany, New York rail station porter, Johnson was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, the Purple Heart, and he was the first American to receive the Croix de Guerre awarded by the French government. By the end of the war, 171 members of the 369th were awarded the Legion of Honor as well. At the end of the war, the 369th returned to New York City and in February 1919 paraded through the city. Thousands lined the streets to see them. The parade began on Fifth Avenue at 61st Street, proceeded uptown past ranks of white bystanders, turned west on 110th Street, and then swung onto Lenox Avenue and marched into Harlem where black New Yorkers packed the sidewalks to see them. The parade became a marker of African American service to the nation, a frequent point of reference for those campaigning for civil rights. This distinguished National Guard regiment left its proud mark on the Allied Expeditionary Force as the regiment that never lost a man captured, a trench, or a foot of ground. In the 1920s and 30s, the 369th was a regular presence on Harlem streets, each year marching through the neighborhood from their armory to catch a train to their annual summer camp and then back through the neighborhood on their return two weeks later. Today's 369th Sustainment Brigade, New York Army National Guard, carries on the traditions of these gallant hellfighters of yesterday. <laughs>